disclaimer. Well, everyone, here we see a typical emotional support demon in its natural habitat. It's important to not get too close to these vicious creatures as they can be quite territorial. Now, aren't you, buddy? Aren't you quite territorial? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Oh my god, I think we finally shook those little demons. Good evening, ladies, lasses and lasses. You smell amazing, even out here in the Swedish wilderness, where I will teach you how to deal with animals, hands-on experience. And that's why we're looking into subreddit. Someone suggested to me that contains a lot of wild creatures. Welcome to r slash Fnuri Irl. No idea what this is, but it's going to be fun wildlife experience. Enjoy. Huh? What was that? Ah, it's probably nothing. We probably won't be violently mauled. Let's read some memes, shall we? Beware of joining the furry fandom. 2018, he slash him. 2019, he slash they. 2020 to 2021, they slash them. 2022, she slash they. 2023, she slash her. This is the real path, Ujian. They were so worried about 5G chips in your bloodstream. <laughs> Try gay furry chips instead. <laughs> you know you like it. This video isn't gay enough, I swear to God. I brought some tasty sn snacks. <laughs> I, I guess you two are busy right now. True love is like an onion. It has a lot of layers and sometimes it makes you cry. D that's actually kind of deep. I was just joking, but that's actually kind of deep. My God, it's like a proper Shrek poem. I'm kind of proud of myself. Do what you must. I have already won. You know that you're in a good place in life when even when people try to get vengeance on you, you just simply do not care. They have already lost. Environmental storytelling. So if you look at the bottom of this windshield, you can see that there used to be family stickers, but now there's a bad dragon sticker. <laughs> Is this what they say when they're worried about like, oh my god, it's destroying the West and it did it. Everyone's just turning into furries. I don't know what that is, but that's what I've heard. Hashtag conspiracy. How guys that you yeah, want to be treated? Uh, oh, that was not me. Who said ooh oh? I thought I was alone out here. <sighs> this is getting me worried. Big tails or big ears? How about both? How about just bo I think both. <laughs> this is what blind actually looks like. <laughs> Furry artist lied. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? He's still hot stuff. Stop it. He's my favorite NPC. Still pettable. Very much agreed. I would still let him hit first, but he has to take his STD vaccines because he looks hella ill. I mean, he fights a never-ending war in a world plunged into chaos where death is absent. I would look a little rough as well. Nobody in Souls games are supposed to look attractive. They are as bad as withered as the world around them. That is true. It's all incredibly dark. Elden Ring was surprisingly non-dark compared to uh, Dark Souls 3, actually. Elden Ring was like a fresh breath of air. It's like, oh my god, there's actually some sort of hope in this sad world. Not everything has a rotten face. Just most of it. How your boyfriend treats you. Uh, do you want to hang out? No. Uh, okay. Versus your straight homie. Uh, stay? Do you want to stay a little longer? We could look at a stars together. Your straight homie, you know? Being straight sounds kind of gay. Just drinking a little bit of bleach, drinking a little bit of ammonia, and just doing like... You could almost call it my chemical romance. This is a freaking godly pun! <laughs> we used to have that. Um, back when I was a student, when I did engineering, I think it was called the cement mixer. It was kind of weird. It was a shot that had two ingredients. So what you would do is that you would take one shot each, and then you would mix it using your mouths. And there were three different challenges, three different awards you could get for doing this. You could get boy-girl, girl-girl, or boy-boy. Um, safe to say, I have all of them, and I am very proud. And then you might ask, how did you get girl, girl? <laughs> Let's just say I look amazing in drag makeup. Anyway, next meme, please. It's time for War Twist 2. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I don't know where that sound came from. Sorry, next meme. My mom just discovered the world of furry stickers. Mom! Nah, I found a new app. Morning! I mean, support comes in many different shapes and sizes. And this is a pretty fluffy and big shape size, if I may say so myself. And I do. A typical AR Chad. Standard AK Enjoyer. Ooh. I mean, you can't rock an automatic carbine without uh, thigh highs. I think that's just a rule. I think they actually do that in the military. Feel free to correct me in the comments, but I don't take criticism. Thank you. 
We won! Oh, it's r slash place, it's so good! We had so many emotional support team in r slash place. We also allied with so many people. We were allied with the Swedes and the Nordics, we were allied with Quebec, we were allied with Fnurri Iril or something like that. I don't exactly know what that was. And a bunch of other people, we had like a dozen allies. And I think we had like almost 10 emotional support demons on the board by the end of it. It was absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with it. Pixel art emotional support demon pins. Coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> you draw lesbian furries? <laughs> How embarrassing! PayPal balance, $98,000! <laughs> you see, that's what I mean. Furries are like sus rich. When, I mean, I don't know what that is, but like, maybe that's one of the reasons the plushies are doing so well. It's not actually a bunch of people enjoying them. It's like five people that actually like my plushies. They happen to be sussy rich furries. And they just buy 500 each. And there you go. What a business model. What an absolute business model. If you can just make a product that some billionaire furry wants, and they just buy enough of it, you, you have sealed your fate in a good way. Oh yeah, by the way, to any billionaire furry watching, we're working on a lot of cool plushies. We have keychains coming for both the Emotional Support Demon and Mango. We have Emotional Support Demon with glowing eyes in the dark, and we have Cerberus Duck. <laughs> I'm just turning into, like, a plushie company. YouTube is my hobby <laughs> at this point. <sighs> ah, my career has taken some uh, interesting turns. Welcome to the mod team. Here is your little leash that marks you as a mod. <laughs> You're never getting out of the mod basement. Self Express offers the latest option in gene therapy. Your potential is limitless and you should be free to reach for happiness. Book your appointment today. <clears throat> Not free. You'll need money. A lot of it. Self Express Gene Clinic, the fast track to the perfect you. So it's just a turn from a furry to a colorful furry. <laughs> but how how do you do the first step though? How do you do the first step, huh? You did you didn't specify. It's it's like step one, be be human. Step two, question mark. Step three, be fabulous, fussy. But where's the like the first step of fussy? <sighs> I think the reason why people don't clip things I say out of context is because it sounds just as bad in context. <sighs> I'm a little bit scared out here. I thought we were gonna be all alone in these woods, but there's some, like, demonic presence. I can't really put, uh, put my finger on it. It's really scary. I'm hoping we can make it out of here alive, everyone. If, if you find this video mysteriously buried in the woods, I was probably eaten alive, and I probably enjoyed it. I think we finally shook the demons. I can't see them anywhere. We're probably safe to sit down and read some more memes. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Please stop humiliating me in front of everyone. Ha ha ha! He's getting held in his butt! Oh? <laughs> you see, I didn't become a hero for justice. I did it to ruin the lives of idiots like you. Uh, huh? Ooh, I like that. It's like sadistic hero, where you come after people, but you do it within the law, kind of. Ooh, I like that. Is this basically Homelander? <laughs> This is essentially Homelander, but a little bit less insane. Thin mints. Thick mints. Oh! Anime nerds are weak. Paltry bought anime thighs. If they saw what furries consider thick, they would have a seizure. Ooh, it's a contest of thickness. I like this. Please, bring it on. Thank you very much. Ah, <sighs> just enjoying my flight. Ah, uh, sorry sir, I believe we have mixed up your seat. Oh, really? Your seat is just under here. Follow me. Pets only? <laughs> Can you imagine if this actually happened to you on a flight? Sorry, you smell like a wild beast, so you sit with the wild beasts. Thank you very much. Hmm... Have you seen my favorite shirt? Yeah, I threw it out. It was old and ugly. We <laughs> got a face of betrayal! This seems to be like a couple's thing that just exists. I think I know this happens with every single couple ever. It's like, why do you need a shirt? It has 15 holes. It's barely holding together. It's more whole than shirt. And like, but it's my old favorite. I have a, I have a shirt like that. The whole, one of, one hole of the arms is basically gone. I just cut it off and have like a one arm shirt and look like I'm having some kind of goth crisis in my 30s. That'd be amazing. Wait, you're a furry? Yeah, why? It's just, you seem so normal and down to earth. I never thought you'd be into that kind of weird stuff. I, I literally just draw myself as a cute fox, bro! Oh, this seems to be like 90% of the fandom. It's just, I, I just like drawing animals. And I think 90% of the fandom is here, especially the art part of it. Because it's so difficult to draw hands and paws are way easier. It's just like, oh, it's easier to draw animals and bada bing bada boom. Furry. I should do a study on this. If I go back to the academy, this will be my next uh, statistical math academic paper. <laughs> then I told them, you're pinosind, not canid. Wow, Cordy, how do you know so much about species families? Yeah! Uh, um, uh, 
Ah, I, you know, I, I read a lot. Fair. Oh, yes, indeed, a lot of, uh, reading. I prefer picture books myself, if you know what I mean. <laughs> a fellow man of culture. There's so much stuff in this video that can just be clipped out of context, but I don't still don't think it's worse out of context, so it might be fine. Big beans or big floof? Why not both? All right, good night, may talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, sure, good night, bro. Beep. Last online, five years ago. Oh my god, this is so true. I've had so many gaming groups throughout the years. I remember like the first gaming groups I had in like Minecraft back in 2010 or something. And we had our own little server that I hosted locally on my computer. We were like 10 people playing. So I had to leave my computer on while I was in school so the other people could play. <laughs> it was amazing. It was before we knew how to set up servers or could even pay for it. <sighs> Those were the good old days. Then I remember someone's little brother logged on to his account and poured lava in the entire village and burned everything down. The struggles, man. I... I promise. Huh? Even though I can no longer hold you, I will never let go of you and your spirit will never die. That is so cute! Oh my god, it's your little dancing furry thing! First time topless at the beach, I almost cannot believe it. I'm about to have a panic attack, but f this feels so good! You look awesome and you are doing great! Indeed, establish dominance! Er okay, okay, no, calm down, click, calm down. Uh, YouTube rules, we're in the forest, but YouTube rules. I remember I teased people uh, while I was uh, doing a stream that we should do like a fundraiser. It's like, oh my god, chat, for every hundred dollars donated to charity, one button comes loose. <laughs> that'd be kind of fun. That'd be, that'd be kind of fun. I think it would raise a decent chunk of cash. Hmm. Ding! Tonight's episode, the writer's barely disguised fetish. Yeah, I've seen a number of these kind of movies and series in my days, and, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh is that a bulgy bulgy I see? Yeah! Gay boy! Um, it's a glocky walkie. Freaking weird. <laughs> you better stop staring or you get the pewily wooly from the glocky walkie. Nuzzles you with bullets. Wait a second. What was that sound? Ah, oh god, no! Ah, run! Ah, oh my god, they're everywhere. Quickly, flee! God, I'm too old for this. Ah. <laughs> Ah, ah. Oh no, it's still there! Oh, look at this beautiful sunset. Hey there. Mwah. Do you come here often? What's that? Why am I talking to myself in the woods while reading memes and being chased by plushies? Well, it's my job. Gay furry hackers are attacking anti-transgender states. Enjoy the sleek gay furries on the government. Furry fan at St. Patrick's Day celebrations in Moscow. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Everyone just unites in the face of hatred. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. This guy suck because zero proof. Oh man, yeah, this guy does suck. Sorry you had to go through all that. Um, I, I literally did none of that. Show us some proof. How do we know you're not lying? This exact thing happened to Quiet. His entire reputation got destroyed because of false accusations, and everybody immediately turned on him, even though there was no proof of the claims. I see that a surprising amount in the creator sphere, and it's always such a hard topic to tackle, in my opinion, because you want to take potential victims seriously, but at the same time, I see it so much, and I've experienced it so much myself, whenever there's the smallest thing. You can literally remove someone as a moderator in your community, and sometimes they just go completely haywire and make up stuff about you to, like, get back at you for demodding them or something. It can be the weirdest, smallest things, but for some reason it's very apparent in this industry. I don't understand why. You can't prove something didn't happen, you can only prove something did happen. Like one time at school, the principal said they caught me on camera talking to someone in the bathroom, and I said that I didn't do it. She didn't believe, and the only way I prove I didn't do whatever she thought I did was by saying I did do something else during that time. In this case, I was at a golf course with my golf class at that specific time she said she saw me, so I physically couldn't have done whatever she thought I did. She then walked away like it was nothing. I'm not known for doing bad stuff, so I don't even know why they just assumed I did something bad. They never even said what I did. Whatever, I'm out of school now anyway, what were we talking about? This is exactly what it's like in criminal stuff. Oh, do you have an alibi for that time and place? And you're like, no, I don't have any friends. Pastel femboy versus goth femboy. Ooh, that is a tough choice. Can you have both? You know those kind of leashes you have in, in daycare for dogs, where you have multiple dogs on the same leash? Can you just take one of those? Go on, order. <laughs> Social anxiety is spiking. Hello, you have come to McDonald's drive-thru. What do you want to order? Uh, uh, I want uh, uh, a Whopper. 
<laughs> oh no, I can never come here again. Secretive furries group is hacking anti-transgender state governments. Hell hath no fury like a furry scorned. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I love this. I mean, the entire IT industry are basically furries, so the fact that the entire hacker industry would be furs as well isn't particularly far-fetched. Man, I accidentally sent a furry not safe for work ref on my portfolio application for an art school I'm applying for. F I'm so fucking dead. Uh, update. I got in. And, and top category. Holy shite. That is amazing. Oh my god. When you make a mistake, but the mistake is so good that you get let in anyway. Oh, this is just W's all around, baby. Let's play wolves. <laughs> I'll be black wolf, then I'll be a white wolf. Hmm, I could be a golden wolf. That's a little weird, but okay. Then I am a purple deer wolf hybrid with wings and covered in stardust with a dramatic past no one can understand. <laughs> well, aren't you a, a special little snowflake? <laughs> Dead. Oh my god. This is the kind of thing you feel like in Skyrim, where it's like, I am a werewolf, and a vampire, and dragonborn, and human, and all, everything at once. A popular non-furry YouTubers that openly had a crush on an anthro character or found an anthro character hot. This list may update in the future if people told me examples of popular YouTubers finding an anthro character hot. We have Marky Plower, we have Cory, we have <laughs> Saber Spark, we have some YouTuber that I don't recognize, and the whole rest. Oh, it's in the Acceptica as well. Wow, what a good list. All the people on this list, I don't know all of them, of course, especially the one to the right there in the middle. Um, it's, uh, it's probably really good YouTubers. If you happen to know who they are, you should subscribe right now. Death's one weakness. Women. Although, uh, oh, that's what happens. Blushing everywhere. You know what? Frick you, unfems your fox boy. What? When the, How could you? No! You walk in on your straight friend dressed like this. What do you do? There's a lot of potential uh, options in this uh, particular instance. And I think they're probably all good. <laughs> and good luck there, dear friend. Oh, so this is where we'll VR. Uh, do you want me to uh, get on top of you? Yes. Oh, I wonder what happens if I press yes. <laughs> Darn, he is really tall. Is the whole TV just tipping over? That'll be very immersive. One trip to the hospital later. Oh, how immersive. Ambulance sirens blaring. Uh, would play again. It was so realistic, I broke my spine IRL. Wow. Me, after joining the community as a straight person, but seeing the cute femboy furries. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe just a little gay. You can always be just a little bit gay. There is nothing gay about being gay. Ah, <laughs> oh, cuddling up with Lucario, Lucario spike arm. You know that chart I was reacting to in another video? It was like, oh my god, Pokemon is on the top of rule 34 artwork. And uh, yeah, makes sense. Can, does the mic actually capture that? That's a crap load of geese. Maybe I can tame one. They're almost like ducks. Mephus be like, furries are animals, so we should be able to hunt them. Trump approves furry hunting licenses. The furries. <laughs> ah, yeah, the difference between actual wild animals and the furry worries is they, they, they'll probably shoot back. And not only with bullets. <laughs> Nussles. No one. Tom Holland in that one scene. <laughs> Wait, what? What, have I missed something? Hold on, what? Please let me know in the comments. I need to know for, uh... Scientific purposes. Uh, not gonna lie, having a loyal customer low-key feels like having a sugar daddy. Ha, <laughs> you'll draw me again, right? Uh, y yes Did you just make commissioning a kink? I mean, I, I suppose just being a successful artist is kind of kinky. The sticker pole at Anthrocon is cool and all, but did you know? Each sticker on the pole is a $100 fine to AC. Each sticker at DLCC is a $250 fine to AC. AC was fined $13,000 this year for stickers at DLCC alone. If this becomes a problem, they could start putting a thing around the pole for con-goers to sticker, then take it off after the con. Maybe even take pictures of all the stickers laid out after the con as a fun little thing. Last year's CFZ had stickers in the elevators until they put up the sign not to put stickers in the elevators. People began to put it on the signs instead. This year they took three large banners and specifically marked them for stickers in the lobby. They were encrusted in the end and were auctioned off for charity. Well handled. That is amazing! Can you imagine just having a massive board with just custom stickers from all over the world? That sounds so badass. Furries of Reddit, how do you explain to your family that you were furry? Visceral confusion? What do you mean? Explain that? Can someone explain to me why the US Army asked an artist on fur affinity if they could use their horny buff horse as a unit logo? No, seriously, they actually did this. United States Army Support Battalion, the Workhorse Battalion. That's pretty nifty, though. 
$5,000 gaming PC, wire, mess, clothes, hair, oh, wow, trash, window always closed, messy bed. Uh, and you live like this? Yeah. <laughs> Being in your late 20s is fun. You can afford a gaming PC, but you still don't have a life. I love him. Me. A blurb. Is this a misprint or is it supposed to be this way? It gives me very mixed feelings. I'm not sure about this. You can only release one of them. Pick now. With what? The, hmm, uh-huh. Okay, well, uh, let me know in the comments which one you would release. Thank you very much, YouTube Algo Engagement. Uh, hey, Nigel, uh, can I can I get your number? Sure. Here. 911. Uh, thank you. Uh. <laughs> Frick the poies coming straight from the underground means something very different this time of day. How to treat good pets? <laughs> Seems about right. Welcome back. Try our furry chino anthrocon. This is genius marketing. If you have a cafe next to a con, you should just do this. This is amazing for business. Look what I made. Thing I am proud of. Hmm. Hmm. I spent six hours on this. Oh, that's all. You know, it's like that with a lot of work in life, especially creative work. You only see, like, the tip of the iceberg. All the training, effort, hours, maybe other iterations of the product, or just say things you did before as practice to get to the point where you could even do the thing you did now isn't really visible. So take your time to appreciate your friends or family or colleagues that do these kind of things, because it really is an iceberg, and making sure they're appreciated can give them the motivation they need to become even better. Uh, do I look better? Twitter is, uh, is fascinating. Oh, look at this after the Barbie movie. We now have Barbie Furry Edition. Wow, isn't that absolutely amazing? This will sell like butter in sunshine. For some reason, that's a saying in Swedish. I don't know why. Sell your some smör i solsken. Selling like butter in sunshine. Some sayings don't really make sense, and sometimes I translate sayings directly for my friends, and I don't even realize I'm saying something wrong, and I do it confidently, so they're so confused. It's like, oh, that's the cream on the mash. Det är grädden på moset. Means freaking nothing in English. It's amazing, and sometimes I do the opposite too. I confuse the people around me, and I'm oddly proud of it. Ah, oh, yes, we got a little gherkin coming here. Oh my god, it's a gherkin! <laughs> Wouldn't the world be fun if everyone was just anthro characters? Oh god, what have I done? Comment section, please, no. Um, what does the P in PH stand for? The exact meaning of the letter P in PH scale is unknown, because the inventor never bothered to explain what it stood for? Wait, what? Are you serious? Stands for pathogen. What is the stupidest real men don't blank you have ever heard? Sleep on their stomachs. I agree, because if your bot is facing upwards and just looks all fat, round and jiggly, then in the middle of the night the devil might get tempted to munch it or pound it. Uh, so it's better to sleep with your butt against the mattress to avoid tempting any supernatural creature that might be lurking around. Like a werewolf, because being <laughs> done by a werewolf isn't only gay, it's also furry behavior. And real men don't partake in furry activities like getting um, all the kind of stuff by, by a werewolf. This is very specific, I'm getting sus feelings here. Is this something you would like to talk to to the group welcome to <laughs> furries anonymous i know what you are what it's time for you to look inward and begin asking yourself the big questions if wool pregnancy is nine weeks and human pregnancy is 40 weeks how long is a werewolf pregnancy is it like both or is it the average i feel like it should be the average right Hello, I am the X Twitter bird. I will give you one example about why X still needs a bird mascot. X! <laughs> Do you get it? X like X! <laughs> because it sounds like X! <laughs> Twitter has really lost it. Thank you. Oh look, it's the emotional support demons from r slash place. Gay furbies! <laughs> Emotional support demon is a mascot of Swedish YouTuber The Click. Proud to be cringe. Salted alien is a streamer friend of The Click. His mascot is an alien. I do love myself some gay Furbies. That sounds astounding. Thank you, whoever wrote this. You are a literary genius. Nobel Prize? We'll see. Oh wait, this is the character from r slash place. Someone edited this into the whole Avengers scene? This is amazing. Oh wait, that's me! <laughs> this is so amazing. I love that someone put the effort to do this. R slash place is such a unique experience. If you don't know what it is, it's like a canvas on Reddit, and every user can place one pixel on this giant canvas every five minutes. So you can imagine you need to be communities to build things together. And sometimes your things are attacked or taken over by other communities. This year there was a lot of cutthroats between streamers and communities and that kind of stuff, but we managed to get a lot of stuff on the board, and so did our allies, and I am so proud of you. Oh yes, indeed. 
Can you please wear something normal to the gym? I am so tired of people looking at you. <sighs> All right, yeah, overly picky partners and that kind of stuff. So I'll wear this. Oh, yes, indeed. It's a show of sheer dominance. I mean, you'll probably have that section of the gym to yourself, so you're all good there. Wait a second, what is this? This just me? <laughs> I think this is Can just me. Just be you? Is this me and Please, Mango? I don't follow. <laughs> Go, you. Oh my god, but this is beautiful. It really I'm looks like me as well. I should just tell people when they ask me, like, hey, click, is that you in that movie? I'm just hey, gonna be like, yeah, yeah, they did it. They did a sneaky placement for me in the movie. I was hoping no one would notice. That'd be so much fun. They'd start trolling my friends with this. Yay, happy birthday to Grimace Shake. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> As seems about right, try Grimace Shake today, not sponsored. Well, ladies, lasses, and lassos, thank you so much for watching. What? What do you say? There's something. Oh, God. We'll have to round off this quickly. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure. And uh, subscribe to the channel, all that kind of stuff. Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, hello there. Mr. Furry, hi. Would you like to read a couple of memes with me? Uh, hello? hello? Oh, man. This is why it's so difficult to make friends in your 30s. Darn it.